Hi, welcome back. Um, this is Dusty Campbell. I'm coming from Yokogawa Corporation of America's Training Center. Um, today we're going to go over how to properly wire a Rotomass remote converter with a flow tube. Um, a, lot, a lot of times we're getting uh, um, people in the field that are complaining, you know, they can't get a good reading and stuff like that. And normally it's because of grounding. So you'll, through this um, little video here, we're going to show you the procedure on that. Um, when you first receive your um, remote converter, you want to open up the top cover. Inside you will see the directions on how the wiring is applied. You're also going to see a package that comes along with ferrite cores for the power and ferrite core for your um, communication device back to your DCS. Um, that'll be taken care of in the back side um, where the power comes in. And if you take a look, I've already powered up and used a ferrite core inside on the power supply. When you receive your cable, your cable will indicate the model code number and which side goes to the flow meter and which side goes to the converter. So it's already pre-labeled. Everything is pre-labeled here by number and already gathered and shrink wrapped so that you, there's very little room for, for mistake, but it can happen. Um, we also supply within this package, as we showed you, was a preferred cable gland for proper grounding. So we will go ahead and apply the cable gland, pull your plastic insert out. Snug it down, pull your collet off. And here you have an insert, and this is where the, cake, the grounding is going to take place. We're going to come back to that in just a second. Also in your package, you've got your directions, as well as your terminal tool on how to open up each of your um, terminals so we can put, put um, the wire in. Okay, this has been pre-cut from the factory. You might want to leave this on, and as you'll see why here in a second, when you need to slide your collet and your nylon insert over top of it, you don't want to be catching this wiring, and it'll, it'll make a mess for you, so it'll be difficult. So let's just get the wires through into the collet. Same with the nylon insert, as you can see, it's going to be a little difficult, a lot of wires to go through a small hole. Feed them in there as best you can. And slide this down to here. The reason why I asked you to, to, to hold off on cutting this was because to be able to slide this over. Once we get this cut, then we'll be able to fold back the shielding over top of this and then slide it up into um, the, the, um, um, the gland here. So while you have in this position, let's go ahead and run your wires up into the converter. And again, tight fit, take your time. I used to take, like to take a pair of needle nose pliers, give myself some assistance here. Keep in mind, as we said before, the wires are for your converter. Pretty simple. One and two section goes to, and then what you're going to find in, in all electronics, the clear is positive, black is negative on 24 volt. So one, two, three, four, five, they're all numbered all the way down to nine. Same thing here that you will find. They're all numbered one, two, three, four, five, 
two, three, and so on. You take your tool, you want to catch it in this lip right here on this opening and then you'll, they're spring loaded so you'll just lift it up. And again, remember what I said was clear was positive. So open it up, get your clear in. Same thing with then black. Number two, same thing. I look pretty clumsy at that. <laughs> then your calm wire, which is a ground. Okay. There's your converter side on how to wire them. Now remember I said we're going to wait to the last minute on this cutting of the cord here is because this is where it gets a little delicate. You're going to pull that down out of the way. Give yourself a light cut. We're going to take this nylon and push up to here and then get this to wrap down across the top of the nylon, which is not easy. So you have to just fold it down and try to do it evenly. You don't want to do, it, do a clump on one side or the other because it will make it difficult pushing it up into the cable gland. This up in there gently while you're at the same time tugging it down like a skirt. Pull your cable back up in there. That's a good, good, you have, you've got this good and snug. You've now got your shielding direct contact with the um, cable gland and direct contact with the body, so you have great, great ground here. Now on to the converter. Inside all the package you'll find, again, the preferred cable gland. And also you'll find another terminal tool.
Same thing as before. Pull your nylon insert out. Cable collet goes on first. Okay, remember we're starting with number one again. Clear is positive, black is negative. Again, draw that down, finish your cut. Fold the shielding down. Put your covers on and
you will be complete. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.